Hey guys, I know this isn't the best lighting. I'm in my kitchen, but I wanted to talk to you guys about where I have been. If you follow me on Instagram, then you will know that, sorry, I'm still adjusting my settings here. Then you probably saw that in December, um, squirrel, I was distracted, sorry. In December, I, when I was doing my 25 days of nail polish, oh, I miss you guys too. Hopefully things will get back to normal now. So in December, um, I had a family member pass away and like most people, my coping skills vary. It was, um, it was pretty sudden and I had a little bit of a hard time with that. And it's so much family stuff going on in December anyway. And it was a really busy time at my work because my boss was out of town a couple of times. And in the microbiology department where I work, it's only her and I that do the full job of what I do. So, oh, thank you. Um, it's been... It just was busy. It just was busy. And then a couple weeks ago, I had planned on doing a video, but you may remember that my middle daughter is pregnant and she's coming up on her due date and she was having a rough weekend. And I really thought that um, she actually did go to the hospital. I really thought I was going to be leaving to go to Utah to see my newest grandbaby. So all this stuff. And I'm sorry, this is what you get. I was not feeling well this morning and then I spent hours catching up my painted flanges taxes so I could be caught up with that. So, um, I am wearing a painted flanges shirt though. And this is, don't ignore my hair though. But this is kind of creepy, but super fun for me because I work in the lab. It's kind of creepy though. So if it creeps you out, don't pay attention to what it is. But it's like fake blood spatters. Um, I don't actually work with blood anymore, if that makes it any better. I work with bugs and microbiology. But I th have missed you guys so much, and I don't really have time to edit right now, so I thought that I would do a live video, open up the rest of the 25 days of nail polish that I have been saving for you guys. And, hey, Rachel. I'm so glad Rachel's watching. So we're going to open up these nail polishes, and I never did part three of my massive Black Friday haul, so I have Black Friday nail polishes here, and then some other stuff that has just showed up. I got the most recent OPI collection, and I do have the newest Moonshine Manny stuff, but I'm not sure if it's ready to be shown yet, so just to make sure I don't do something I'm not supposed to, I'm not going to show you that yet, but I have it, and it's coming. And... I think I have a polish pickup I never showed you. So I miss you guys so much. I'm hoping my videos will get back on track. My guess is probably not three a week like I have been for the last year. My guess is for right now, it's going to be, um, I can probably guarantee one a week. And it might be some lives and some recorded because life's just been busy. You know how life gets. And... Oh, I didn't apologize for, um, so Painted Flanges too has been kind of on hold, but not really. Anything ordered is still being shipped out. If you've ordered recently, you know that the, the nail polishes are still going out. And, and that's all been fine. I just didn't release, um, a polish collection for January like I was up in the air about doing anyway, because Painted Flanges is a love for me. You know what I mean? I love nail polish and I want painted flanges to be fun for me. I don't want it to be, oh, I'm so glad you'd be happy with one a week. <laughs> um, I don't want painted flanges to be an obligation. I don't want it to be something that I feel like I have to do when I don't have time. And I don't mean, I don't mean that, that I don't want to be consistent. I just mean that when life is rough and I have a family member die and I need some time off, I just want to feel like I can take it. And I know that you guys are supportive of everything. And I appreciate so much all the kind messages that I've gotten recently. 
And I just wanted you guys to know I am working on something fun for February and I already have my March release ready and I have missed you guys. So Painted Flanges will be coming back with more too. And it, I'm sorry that it was such an abrupt leave. Hey, Amber. Okay, so let's work on some more 25 days of nail mail a month later. I actually think it's been almost, no, it's been more than a month. It's been like five weeks. We're going to pretend it hasn't. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Hopefully this crinkling isn't too loud. So this is, oh, this is sliding off my head. Um, and you guys don't want to see what's under here. This is the one from the Polish Nook. This is my number three from the Polish Nook. I'm just going to make a garbage pile over here. Oh, I didn't tell you. That was the other thing that was a big life thing. My youngest child at home went to college. He's less than an hour away. It's not that big of a deal, but it was a really big deal for me because he was my last one at home. So... It was just, it's kind of been the craziest year. You guys know that my three girls got married within 10, I think 10 months of each other. The one had, her, um, my youngest daughter had her reception like four months later, but within 10 months, all three of my girls decided it was time to get married. So it's, and I started a new business. We just like to keep things crazy here. Okay, so number three is Leisha's Lacquer. Look at this. You guys will have to tell me if this lighting's okay. I know it's not the best, but this, I think, is a decent spot for me to do lives. This is called First Snowfall. I don't actually have Alicia's Lacquer, so I'm really excited about that. Yay! You know I'm excited about all the nail polish anyway. Um, I have a lot of stuff here. I hope this video isn't too long. Okay. This one looks like Lindby Designs. Ooh, that's a gorgeous blue-purple. What do we call that? Um, periwinkle? Bluish-purple? It's a bluish-purple. Sugar Plum Fairies. Look at that sparkle. It's gorgeous. I'm so excited. I have so many new nail polishes now because I had all these, and then I ordered some from Black Friday. And then I got some for Christmas, too. Right? It's so hard when your kids go away. And he's so funny. He knows it's hard for me. And he actually still, like I said, he lives less than an hour away now at college. And he still works here because he has a decent job here that he likes. So two or three times a week, he drives back down. He works two miles from my house. So he drives back down here and works and he usually if he doesn't have to stop and get something he'll stop and give me a hug or get food or whatever so he's way good about it and he lets me text him whenever and he'll text me back when he has time but this is it's hard it's a new step in life and it's hard okay this one is static lacquer and if you don't know which I'm sure you guys do static lacquer rebranded it used to be mace and this is a gorgeous like mauve purple gorgeous sugar plum what was this one? Oh, this is sugar plum fairies and this one is sugar plum from the 12 days of christmas and you know what i didn't even look at the numbers on the last two at this point i'm not sure if it matters he is a good one um oh this is a not polish from the polish nick one Oh, it's a cuticle bomb. Sassy Pants does these cuticle bombs. I see these in um, Polish Pickup, too, I think is where I see them. Is the North is Northwoods the smell? It might be. I think Northwoods is the smell. It's a very woody cinnamon smell. I'm excited about this. This one's going to go in my purse. Sorry, my dog's outside barking. I'm sure you can hear him. And my neighbors are hating me right now. This is still the Polish Nook box. We didn't get too far into it before I found out. But before things started to go awry, let's say that. This is another gorgeous gray blue. This is Sassy Pants. I guess you want to see the polish part, not just the label. 
gorgeous. And I just barely took my nail polish off my nails. If you saw my Instagram um, story yesterday, I went to go get a pedicure with a friend. But <laughs> seriously, my nail polish room, nothing's put up because I don't put nail polish up until I show you guys or try it or do swatches and then I find its place. And I walked in there to grab a nail polish for my toes and I couldn't decide because they were all out where I could see them. And I went with a whole Ziploc bag it's probably still in my purse, but my purse is over there. I went with a whole Ziploc bag full of nail polishes. <clears throat> and then I decided after I got there. And you guys helped me decide on the Instagram. Oh, this one's gorgeous. This is so pretty. This is like a Christmas tree one. This is, maybe it just needs a little love. This is Limby Designs. And it has, oh. Okay, remember, these have been sitting in my room for at least a month now, and some of these I've had for longer than that waiting to open them. So that one needed to be shaken, but it has the multicolored, different shaped glitter in there, and it's got holographic. That's a gorgeous one, too. I probably need to quit talking as much and open. We're going to be here forever. That is a pretty green. <laughs> Maybe I should have opened these before I started recording oh my gosh this is another blue this one has a little bit of a green in it sorry you guys couldn't even see it and look at that gorgeous shimmer this is native war paints you can order the advent calendar next year maybe we should collaborate on something rachel teal the end is this one and that's what i was going to say this blue is a little bit more green that one's gorgeous, and that was Native War Paints. This is still the Polish Nook one. The Polish Nook has um, quite a few more polishes on there lately. I don't know if you've checked it out, but the Polish Nook has, it's a, um, Rachel, help me out. What's the word I'm looking for? The Polish Nook is a website that is a store for indie polishes. So the thing that I love about places like that is, um, like say Leisha's Lacquer that I've never ordered before, if there's a collection from something that I want to get on there, then I will throw in something that I've never tried before because it's one shipping. I don't have to pay for an extra shipping. And you know I love to try new polishes. At some point, I would like to say, you know, I've got enough, but we know that's never going to happen, so... This is Pepper Pot Polish. This is only my second Pepper Pot Polish, and that's exactly how I got my first one. I threw it in with a different Sassy Pants order from there. This is Show Me Your Tinsel. How cute. This is another kind of a steely blue, and it's got all that multicolor glitter in there. I know this isn't the best lighting, and I'm sorry, but I think we're doing okay. Let me know. Hopefully, you guys think it's okay. Okay, it looks like this box is getting a little low. Oh, I have glitter falling on me, too. Also, are, do you guys, are you okay with the live stream? If I do live stream a couple times a month and then some recorded videos a couple times a month, are you okay with that? If I had um, like a normal polish talk stuff like Angie's Manny's or something, it would have to be swatched on a swatch wheel because I wouldn't be able to put pictures in. But you guys know whenever I have swatch pictures, they go on my Instagram anyway. So you have to let me know what you would think of that. This one is Music City Beauty. I also don't have... One like this. This is a, I don't, one from this brand. That's what I meant to say. This is spiked eggnog. I love that. And this is a um, beige. We'll call that a tan beige. It's got gorgeous gold sparkle. It looks like it's got some, I don't know if it's brown glitter or if it's just when the gold is not being reflected on and there's some darker, dark gray or black in there. This one is gorgeous too. Thanks, Rachel. I was worried about the lighting. I know it's not the best. It would be better if it was earlier, but you know, I was fighting with my taxes. So, Also, while we're on here, thank you guys so much for making the first physical year of Painted Flanges um, a success. I was so happy when I finished doing my taxes, for one, because the taxes were done, but also... Just because I don't ever expect to make millions from painted flanges. That's 100% not why I started this company. 
it's something for me to do and I love it. So it's just, it's, it's a, a hobby business kind of, I love to share things that I love with you guys. So just seeing in black and white numbers that you guys have loved some of the stuff that I've made and just wanted to support me. It's, just makes me all warm and fuzzy, and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, you Music City is on Polish Pickup. I haven't even looked at them recently, so I'll have to check out more Polish Pickup. This is another new to me brand. This is Parrot Polish. Look at that. I love the ones with the picture on them. This says ho, 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 and it looks like a almost streaking Santa Claus. He has strategically placed holly berries, it looks like. This one is kind of an ember orange type color, kind of an orangey red. Oh, it's got pink and gold sparkle in there. I don't know if my lighting... Oh, there you can see some of it. I think my mess pile here is going to get big. We'll have to start on the floor. Okay, this is my Linton B Designs. Sorry, you can probably hear my phone vibrating. Um, <clears throat> this is Running of the Santas. It doesn't tell me what smells is in it. And I'm not good with smells. But it smells good. It smells good. See, I didn't even burn anything that was already open because I was waiting to do it with you guys. These are so cute and fun when they're indiv individually wrapped, too. Sorry if you guys hate the popping. This is called Krampus. And it's, uh, sorry, I have, it's a beige gold. <clears throat> and it looks like it's got copper shimmer. And some multi-chrome flakies in there. Beigey tan was what I was trying, beige gray. I can totally, words words today. Sorry, guys. I think I told you I wasn't feeling good this morning, right? <laughs> we just blame everything on that. And mind-numbing taxes. This one is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous winter color. This is called Get Hitched. It's Lin Linby Designs again. This, These are all going to be Linby Designs because this is my Linby Designs box. So was Krampus. I can't remember if I told you that. Look at this icy blue. It's a very light blue, and it's got that soft pinky purple shimmer in it. And a bunch of holographic glitter. So gorgeous. I'm trying to pick it up. I'm sorry. There really is a huge pile here. <laughs> yes, this is like a gray-purple. Oh, it's a little bit. This is... <clears throat> you. Okay, I don't even know how to say this. Yule, Yule Cat Joe Lochterin? I have no idea. And I don't know if that's showing up backwards for you guys. <laughs> anyway, it is a gorgeous lavender purple. Look at all that shimmer. There's definitely catching blue and green and pink in there. Is it pink or is it gold? I think it's pink, so it might possibly be a multi-chrome. That one's gorgeous also. This is sliding off my head, but like I said, you guys don't want to see what's under here. Oh, see? Sneak peek. Yeah, I should have opened these before I started recording. Oh, this one's like a more blue version of that purple. It's a deeper purple. Definitely some more blue and blue. That's definitely multi-chrome flakies in there because I'm getting a purple pink around the top and a blue green down here when I look at it. This is called cookie shaming. I love that. Too bad nobody's home. I could have somebody open for me. Okay, this one is Night of the Radishes. 
This is a gorgeous red. It's got quite a bit of gold in there too, which gives it a little bit, you know how when there's gold in there and it's very fine, it gives it just that tiniest bit of an orange glow, just kind of the brightens it up. This one looks like that. And I'm in my sweatpants, in case you just got a shot. Didn't go anywhere today. Um, the nail polish survived. We shouldn't do this on hard floors. This is Yule Goat, and this one is another beige color. Maybe a little bit pinky, but it definitely has some very soft and delicate multi-chrome shimmer in there. <laughs> Boston wants to know when it's her turn to Marco Polo me back, huh? That's super funny. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the popping. Um, I'm really actually sad that these have been sitting in my room not opened. This one again is gorgeous. This is a light gray with maybe just a touch of purple or blue, but that is all multi-chrome flakies. Look at all that gorgeousness. I love it. So gorgeous. Holy cow, this is the longest Marco Polo ever. Rachel is an actual in life real person, real life friend of mine, for those of you if you don't know. And um, we do video chat all the time. That's why her daughter thought that. This one is gorgeous. This is a pinky red. Hide your brooms. I'm trying to decide if there's pink glitter in there. There's definitely some bigger gold glitter and some shimmers. I think there are some small. I bet you it's gold holographic. I bet you that's the shift I'm getting there. Gorgeous. I'm gonna have to start putting nail polishes somewhere else or tossing the garbage on the floor. This one is very similar to, I didn't even tell you, this one is Gray Mare. The one that I said was maybe a little bit blue or purple with all that multi-chrome, Gray Mare. Sorry guys. Um, this one is Christmas Pickle, and it's green, and it's so funny because my mother-in-law sent us a Christmas Pickle ornament this year to put on the tree, and whoever found it first was supposed to have good luck. But this definitely, that's more multi-chrome flakies in there. It's just a little bit green. Gorgeous. That would be great for, like, St. Patrick's Day or any time. Ooh, I think this one's a topper. This is Christmas Spider. Oh, I don't love it as much now. I don't like spiders. But this one is clear, just a ton of multi-chrome flakies. Gorgeousness. That would be so pretty over stuff. Okay, so that's the end of Limby Designs. These are the rest of my Florist Carol. And... That just shows you that these were all sent very well packaged because it takes me forever to open them. Another gorgeous red. Oh, it's matte. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. <laughs> you guys are getting real time here. This is Grandma's Cherry Pie. It's a matte red. It has gorgeous bright red shimmer in it and those look like black shards. I love this. I should have taken that one with me to get my toes done yesterday. If you can hear the flapping sound, we have a doggy door and my dog is running outside to bark at nothing and then back in. This is a magnetic polish. This is reindeer paws. It looks like kind of a blackened brown, but look at all those fun, colorful catching. They're probably holographic, probably golden holographic. 
And it looks like, so on the magnetic polishes, because I don't have very many, I'm never sure if that's shimmer in there or if that's the magnetic stuff that's going to get pulled out. But it looks like there's some golden in there also. Oh, good night. Sorry, this is so long, guys, and I still have quite a bit of polish. So. I maybe should have planned better. I just sat down and brought it all in here with me. This one is Ornament. This is another, oh gosh, this is another gorgeous blue, and it looks like it's got some silver in there, and again, some holographic shreds. Gorgeous. I almost picked up, I, I have the ones that I had opened before in here too because I was going to swatch them all for a finale. But now at this point I'm so far behind I'm not sure if that's going to happen like that. Oh, peach eggnog. Needs to be shaken up. The eggnog has separated. Okay, disregard the separated spot. This is a gorgeous peachy color. Just a tad off from the coral for the Pantone color of the year. Gorgeous though, so much fun. I can't see my clock from here, guys. Oh, disregard the fact that I'm wearing a watch and that was the silliest thing I've ever said. This one is Prancer. Oh, it's a thermal. This one is a gorgeous, like, fuchsia pink. It's a deep pink. And look at all of those multicolored glitter in there. Looks like I have pink, blue, possibly purple, some silver. I wonder what color it'll change to thermal. I'm sure I can't warm it up enough in my hand in a reasonable amount of time. If there's anything you guys are dying to see, though, if you let me know, I can move them to the front of my pile because you know I want to wear all of them. All of them first. This is Santa's bag. This one's also a magnetic polish. This is a gorgeous red. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's what's going to show up magnetic or if there's just a golden shimmer in there, but you can definitely see the red and gold, and this is gorgeous. A couple more of these. We're still working on the Chloris de Carol Advent one. I went a little crazy in September when I ordered this and got the 25 one, and I'm not sad one bit about it, but. It is a ton of nail polish. This one is coal in my stocking. I love it. It looks like shiny coal. This looks like it's got, what are the hairy glitters? Bar glitters? It might have some in there. Maybe not. From the side, it looked like it did. Oop. Um... Oh, it's got black glitter in there, though. It might. I'll have to see. It's hard to tell with all the dark on top of each other, but I love this one. This is coal in my stocking. You guys know I love dark colors anyway. I actually cannot believe that my dog is not freaking out because he hates the popping. When I'm packaging orders and I'm wrapping it, wrapping it in bubble wrap, if it starts popping, he has a freak out. Ooh, this is a gorgeous, like, blackened green. This is, did I mention it's Christmas? And it's got some other color shift in there, too. That's gorgeous. Love that one. I'm running out of places. I just need to push all that out of the way. Oh, I should put my polish back in the bucket now that these are open. We have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. If there's gentlemen, I haven't seen anybody talking to me. Oh, this one's a gorgeous purple. <sighs> Present peaking. Look at that gorgeous purple. That's so bright, but it's a deep purple and it has flakies in there and it's holographic. So gorgeous. Funniest present peeking story. I used to wrap at empty presents and put them. I knew you would love the purple. 
I would wrap empty boxes and put them under the tree because I was a peeker when I was a child. So um, I would wrap empty presents so that my kids couldn't peek and they thought I was the meanest mom ever because they would pick them up and be like, it's empty. This is Sleigh Ride. And just to show you the difference with present peeking, this is present peeking. This is a more of a red pinky purple and this one is more blue leaning. But I would still, hmm, maybe it's a purple leaning blue. Maybe that's what I would call it. This one is Sleigh Ride and it's a holographic. Very similar formula it looks like. It's holographic with a bunch of little glitter flakies. Maybe both. Gorgeous. Okay. That one is open. So we're done with that. Let's see what we have here. I ordered some from KL Polish. Um, actually, right after Black Friday, when they did whatever sale they did. I think I ordered the Zodiac. That's what it is, the Zodiac collection. This one is Libra. I can't put garbage in there or I won't be able to put nail polish in there. <laughs> Cancer. Leo. Also, if you guys are watching, if you watch Psych, the TV show, Psych, about the psychic detective. And if you have a favorite nickname that Sean calls Gus, I am interested in it down below. And if I pick your nickname for something fun coming up, you could possibly win something free. This is Capricorn. That's a gorgeous multi-chrome. Ooh, this is a deep blue holographic. This is Aquarius 2. Okay, so I'm not sure why there was Aquarius 1 and 2, but I think I only ordered the 1. But I don't have a ton of kale polishes. I, actually, I do have quite a fair number now, but I didn't used to. This one is Pisces. Virgo. That one's gorgeous. My husband's on his way home from work, so he's going to come in and there's going to be nail polish wrappers everywhere. And he's going to be like, what's going on? This one is Gemini. I needed a reward for being a responsible adult and getting my taxes done, right? Only my painted flanges ones till the end of December, not even all of it. This is a gorgeous purple. You have this one, right, Rachel? This is Sagittarius. That's gorgeous. Ah, Scorpio. This one is like a black and red. Oh, Rachel just told me you guys can probably see why we have two Aquariuses. I actually told my husband when I started painting flanges that it was um, market research. I don't actually know if, goodness gracious. Okay, you guys have to excuse me a second. I have to flip this the other way and put it on. So one second, sorry. So this headband that I got, can either be a twist or a different way. I got it from Busy B. Busy B. She's on Instagram. I'll have to link her and tag her in something so you guys can see. But the headband twists two different ways. And with it twisted in the front how it was before, it's a little bit tighter and obviously it was um, slipping off my head. So I do have the messiest hair ever. Oh, this is a gorgeous bright orange. This is Aries. Put some plastic on there. And, ah, 
Taurus too. As Rachel said, excuse me, um, the, was it Aquarius? Yeah, the Aquarius and the Taurus were in a Lips and Tips collection. So I did order from the Zoya sale this year, but honestly, I think I have most of them and I haven't been keeping up with my spreadsheet. So I didn't order too much nail polish because I didn't want duplicates. So I did try the, I didn't try it yet, but I bought the Caliscon Quick Gel. Quick Gel. If you guys have used it, let me know what you thought of it and how the best way to use it is. So I bought this to try. Um, I also got a few. I got Normani. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, Anna. I feel like I might have this one. Anything that I have that's duplicate, because I know the other um, deal that they had with, was it? I don't know. I want to say it was the holiday collection that came with all that other stuff and the um, remove plus. Uh, that came with a lot that I already had. So I have to just have to go through stuff to see what's for a giveaway because I will be doing a giveaway with those. This is a gorgeous purple. This is Nimu. I don't even know if I showed you the other ones up close. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, just if you're interested, I got this from Ulta for Black Friday. Sorry, guys. Soap. I think that one was in my other haul. Okay. Limby Designs. I didn't even open it yet. That's how crazy stuff was. If I get nail polish and I didn't open it, you know that life's been crazy. The KL polish actually sat unopened on my kitchen counter for a while, and my husband was like, you're not even going to open that? I feel like this was a Harry Potter collection, but I don't 100% know, because I don't know these, sorry guys, maybe it's a beast, maybe it's Fantastic Beasts. Finifugal, that one's all sorts of multi-chrome too. This one is an orange with blue and orange. This is Rantipole. Rachel, do you remember me telling you when I ordered this one what it was? Because right now I can't remember. Am I Ginger? This is obviously a Ginger Shimmer Polish. Ooh, this is a gorgeous, like, light, light lavender. This is Sleigh Ride. These must not be... It must not be Fantastic Beasts. I don't, must have been a collection. They all came together. But there's no packing slip, so. Oh, gorgeous purple. Them's my eaten pants. I don't think this one was an advent calendar because I already had the Lindby Designs advent calendar that we opened first. That one's gorgeous. If I went on their website, I could probably find it, but I'm talking to you guys. Thanks for hanging in with me. I know this is super, oh my gosh, it's super long. I'm so sorry. We're just looking at nail polish, hanging out together. This is Scintilla. And this is kind of a mustardy, shimmery yellow with some gorgeous flakies in there. That's an interesting polish. I like that. Purple, another purple. Ooh. This is Alexithema. If you can see that name, I don't know how to say that. Sorry. Gorgeous polish, though. I'm horrible with names. That's why I had to make painted flanges, so I knew how to say the names because I made them. 
this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. This is Nyctophilia. See, so this sounds like Harry Potter polishes for this. Maybe I just am not placing the other names. And this is Philophobia. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Such a gorgeous nail polish. It's so funny because when you do nail polish like we do, like some of us, oh, you know what? I didn't even finish telling you what I got. I also got these from the Zoya sale. Sorry, guys. It, this is so scattered. These. Oh, I got blush lacquer had some duos. So I don't often buy blush lacquer um, just because I don't. But they had some duos right before Thanksgiving that were part of their sale, I think. I got the Not Your Average Sea Dragon, which um, is similar to the Not Your Average Sea Horse that was Polish Pickup. So I got that one. And Not Your Average Sea Monkey. I am so happy to have these. They are gorgeous. Those ones I did open, but it was like 7 million years ago. This is Evening Sparkler and Evening Sparkler Hollow. So the only difference was the hollow, probably. Okay. Okay, this is Chloris to Carol. I think this is her Christmas collection that I ordered. Which, if any of these are duplicate from the advent calendar, then I'll just put it in the giveaway, but I don't know if they are. This is Let's Celebrate. That is a gorgeous, classic Christmas Crully. This is Hibernation Station. This is a purpley blue. I don't know if that's coming across right on the lighting. That's so gorgeous, guys. Ah. Holly Jolly. I'm not going to be able to paint my nails for a week. I'm not going to be able to pick what I want to wear. This is a gorgeous, it looks like it's probably a jelly red and all that glitter and shimmer in there. Gorgeous blue. This is Winter Mist. Now remember these have been sitting in my room for quite a while, not even being touched. That has multi-chrome. Gorgeous, you guys. So if you see one that needs to be shaken, it's been just sitting and I'm sorry. This one is like a grayed out green with that same... Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, this is wool mittens. So gorgeous. Should have painted my nails first because now I can't decide what to put on. This is Cozy Sunday. It looks like probably the same formula, the same components in there, just a different green. Few days off. This I think was a limited one. I'm pretty sure this was a limited one, probably for Black Friday. So I can't remember most of what I ordered, but a little bit. Tis the Season. This is a gorgeous, like, pinky. It's a little more pink than rose gold, but look at all that holographic in there, guys. Gorgeous. Cozy Sunday! <laughs> yeah, that is what I should wear. <laughs> Um, there are so many gorgeous polishes in here. I'm so, I'm so, I'm feeling bad that they sat for so long, but it is what it is. Magical Time looks like it's a clear base with all of those Christmassy goodness in there again, like holographic plus all those different color glitters. That one's gorgeous, I'm sure. I bet you can layer that one up. It looks like there's a lot in there. Okay. This one. I was so excited about. I think this is a thermal. Is this one of her tricolor thermals? It is a thermal. I think this might have been one of her tricolors. This is Baby's First Sled, but for real, I ordered it for that purple color right there. That is gorgeous. You guys can obviously tell today I'm having purple envy. Hi! My favorite snow shovel is again thermal. So this was a trio. So one of the other ones I showed you was a thermal too. I'm pretty sure those were a trio. 
Um, oh, cupcake polish. Okay, so I told you it's been too long. I didn't even remember I ordered cupcake polish. Sea colored glasses. I think this was a re release. Rachel is my cupcake polish go to. She's got quite a few. I don't have very many. This is Appley Ever After, which is a gorgeous holographic red. It looks like some of the gold in there has settled to one side. So I'll try and show you a more red side, which is a truer representation. Ah! This is Atomic. It's gorgeous purple with those, like, just gorgeous multi-chrome. I'm not sure if there's some gold in there. I get distracted by that every time. So the sad part is every time I order polish, I think that I'm doing pretty good. I want you to know that this is my restricted version and if money was unlimited and it didn't matter, my house would be full and I would probably be divorced because my husband would be like, why is there polish everywhere? This is a gorgeous blue. Again, with those just multi-chrome flakies in there. So gorgeous. I didn't tell you what that one was called. Quick change. This is Unrequited Love. Yeah. This sea glass one says the vault on it. It is a re-release. Happy New Year to you, Sylvia. Oh, I probably said that wrong. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on and the words are small, but happy new year. Sorry that I've been gone so long. This is Unrequited Love. This is also ooh, a re-release from the vault. Let me show you the other side. That side's mixed better. Okay, and this one is gorgeous. Um, believe it or not, I did not have Mr. Mint. So now I do. I should have put that on my toes. Everything, everything should have gone on my toes. I need to start taking suggestions now for what should go on my toes for vacation in April. Okay, let me move. So now I have a full tote here that I need to move and we can get to, we're getting to the end guys. If you're getting tired of seeing polish, we're getting to the end. I don't think that I ever showed you guys this polish pickup, and I don't have my invoice in here, so honestly. Mm, possibly November's. Um, I think this was November's. This is, what was November's theme? Some of them, oh, this is December's. It is December, so I'm sure I haven't shown you guys yet. That's why I like when they put the month you ordered it and stuff on there. Because sometimes I can't re remember. So this was like um, Enchanted Forest. That's what December was, was Enchanted Forest. This is the path of leaf resistance. Gorgeous. Um, test thy courage. I love Dollish Polish. And you guys are going to laugh. The one um, gripe I have with Dollish Polish is when you order the, I think it's the clearance ones that come in the round bottles, like this shape. And then you order the new ones and they come like this. So all my Dollish Polish are not in the same bottle and it just rubs me wrong. But I love them, so I keep ordering them, both bottles, so it's fine. This one is like a mauve with a gorgeous green shimmer in it. This is Vintage Fairy. Oh, look at that. I love when they put pictures on the label. That has a fairy on the label. I don't know if I was holding still enough for you to know. Oh, it looks like it's got some blue there, too. This one is Schmebulock. Schmebulock. I don't know. This is Night Owl Lacquer. This one is gorgeous. And this one was highly recommended by Phoebe. And another gorgeous purple. This is So Foxy. 
It was in my polished pickup bag, so it must have been polished pickup. Look at that. So many gorgeous polishes. Okay, let's do, I got my Orly Color Pass. And this box is destroyed because we have the community mailboxes, like the mailboxes down the street. Not They don't deliver stuff to my door. And um, from the back side where they put mail in, it's bigger than the front side. So I couldn't get the box out, but I couldn't leave it in there because it was nail polish. So we had to destroy the box a little bit to get it out. But no nail polish was harmed in doing that. So this is their spring 2019. It is, ah, oh, Radical Optimism. I love that. I think that's the name of the collection. It's always kind of hard for me to tell on these. So this came with some watermelon aqua bomb, which I did not see in here, and some nail trition. Usually there's like a code or something for a discount, but I'm not seeing it on this one. But the color pass is like hundred and twenty ish, I think, and you get four releases from Orly, six nail polishes each, and you don't have to worry about looking for it to come out. So if you love Orly nail polish, they will get sent directly to you. It's a good value, especially because you get bonuses in every box. So, oh, cute. I got an Orly sticker, too. Here's the Aqua Bomb. Um, sometimes it's not hand stuff. I'm assuming this is. But one time I got a Pravana hair mask in there. Okay, I think that's all from that box. So... I got the Nail Trition and the Aqua Bomb. And I actually am loving these spring colors from Orly. I was gonna put some of these in my choices for my pedicure yesterday on my Instagram story, but I had only had them inside for about three hours. And if you live somewhere incredibly cold or incredibly warm, it's always a good idea to bring your polishes to room temperature before you open them because it can affect consistency and you could even possibly break your bottles. So, um, I think only one of these has shimmer, but I haven't, um, like I said, I just got these yesterday. This is Lavella, and it is a little more tan than it's looking on my screen. And then there's this peachy one. This is Everything's Peachy. And this one is just a little bit deeper orange, and it's positive correlation. And coming up, roses. I think these are showing up a little more washed out than they are in person. This one has a shimmer, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. This is Spirit Junkie. And it has, you can't see it, it has a gorgeous pink shimmer in there. This is the only one with the shimmer, I think, but I was so excited about it. Spring is typically my least favorite Orly collection. Um, I still like it, don't get me wrong. And I love that the Orly bottles are a good value. They're 18 milliliters. And I love the good sized brush as you obviously know I like the thicker brush because that's what my painted flanges ones I picked are and I love the rubberized cap so this one is glass half full and it's oh it has a shimmer this has a bright blue shimmer possibly leaning a tiny bit purple in there this is gorgeous also okay I think last guys Thank you so much if you hung with me through all of that. It's been almost an hour. Holy cow. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff to, on my list of stuff still to do. But I did buy the OPI Tokyo Collection. I buy these on polishpick.com. I always misspeak and say polish pickup, but of course we know that's um, indie stuff, so that's not what it is. It's polish pick. 
They have OPIs for a reasonable price. And also, um, now they have China Glaze. They have some gel polishes on there. They have um, the OPI gel. You can get some good deals. And you get um, oftentimes an extra thrown in. So I got a nail strengthener because I ordered the whole thing. So this one, I love this. This is just a gray blue. This is Can Pie OPI. It's K-A-N-P-A-I OPI. You guys, this is out, and Phoebe's done a review, so you've probably seen these other places, but you will be seeing swatches. I love this green. This is such a bright, fun spring green. Sorry, that's Rascal. He's sad. I've been talking to you for so long. This is How Does Your Zen Garden Grow? Um, these two are very similar to each other. And then the next one is a big jump darker. So this is the lighter of the two we'll go with is another romantic evening. And it's a nice kind of a mauve pink, a lighter. And this one's just a touch more. This one I would more say is mauve. This is rice, rice, baby. And then if we go to the next deeper one I had showed you, this is Arigato from Tokyo. And then now we have two more pinky purples that are quite a bit darker. This one, I really would call a purple. It's a pink leaning purple, but I would definitely call this one a purple, but sometimes they're deceiving in the bottle, so. Um, this on my head is a headband. It's all one piece. I get these from Busy Bee. You know what? If I'm going to talk about her, I should talk about her right. Let me look on my Instagram real quick. Because I found her on Instagram. And she, they're awesome. I have so many. And she has such cute designs. And this one, if you... I'm not sure if you were on here yet when I switched it from the twisty way it goes, but it goes a couple of ways. It's um, Busy Bee Crafts Handmade. You can't even see that. I was hoping it could focus for you. Yeah. Anyway, it's Busy Bee Crafts if you search it on Instagram. I'll put a link somewhere. I'll probably, maybe I'll tag it in, in on my Instagram. Um, I think I was saying I would probably call this a purple, <clears throat> excuse me, but it, it's kind of deceiving in the bottle, so it might be more pinky. This is Hurry Juku, get this color. I know I'm slaughtering these names, I'm really sorry. It's gorgeous though, I love that. This one looks like a very similar color, but more of a shimmery version of it. And this is... All your dreams in vending machines. It doesn't look as shimmery on my cam on my screen as it does in person. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have another gorgeous orange here. This is temperature is rising. Love that one. Oh, this purple is so pretty. This purple, I didn't realize until I picked it up, has that gorgeous shimmer in it. This is Samurai Breaks a Nail. Gorgeous. This is Chopsticks and Stones. That one has a little bit of a shift of another color too. Gorgeous. And then we have two more very similar colors. This is, see, very similar on my screen. You can't even hardly tell them apart in person. I would say this one is just a touch lighter. This is Suzy san Climbs Fuji-san. And then the one that's just a bit... Those are so close. The other one, the other green, is I'm on a sushi roll. Yeah, those are really, 
Maybe this one's just a touch more green and this one's just a touch more blue. That's a better way to describe it. Those ones are very close. You guys, I think that's it. I don't know because I have a mess out here. So I don't know if I just buried the other stuff. I've missed you so much. And I am so glad that you spent this hour with me. I'm so sorry that it took an hour. I have way been missing you. And I just knew there was no way I could get an edi a video edited and filmed today. So thank you for sticking it out with me on the live. I am in nail polish heaven right now. There's so much nail polish here. Definitely I will be doing um, swatches of the OPI. You know, I try and do the OPI China Glaze orally. I try and do the mainstream ones. But, you know, my heart's drawn to indie. Um, so hopefully we can do a better job with at least the one video a week and life will settle down a little bit, hopefully. But it seems like that doesn't happen very well. Um, I'm hoping that Painted Flange, actually I'm not hoping, there is some very fun stuff coming up for Painted Flanges. There is a release that I am working on, um, finalizing formulas, so excited about that one. I have the release after that is one that actually, the very first nail polish that I ever made that I loved and I showed um, a couple of friends of mine was the first one that I was like, oh my gosh, people might actually like my polish. That's part of that collection. Isn't it funny that I kept it for like six months before I released that one? Um, so that's coming. I have some fun collaborations coming up. I have so much fun stuff, you guys. I am so glad that you stick it out with me. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing this crazy love of polish with me and for supporting plant. Uh, for supporting painted flanges. Yes, Rachel, you do need to come play with nail polish at my house. And hey, if Rachel comes and plays here, we can do some more collaboration videos. That sounds like a win to me, guys. Super win. Um, I actually was really hoping to, oh, thank you. Polish party. Polish party at my house. Everybody come join. <laughs> I'm really hoping to be able to make it to an indie shop as a vendor this year. So I don't have any set plans for that. I don't even know where they're going to be yet. If there's going to be one close enough to me that it would be feasible because of course I would have to drive to be able to take all the nail polish. But I really, that is definitely something that I want to do. So, so much fun stuff planned for YouTube channel in general, but definitely for painted flanges. And thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. I have loved talking to you. Sorry again for the long break. And thank you so much for all of your kind words. Bye, guys. See you much sooner than this last break, I promise. Bye.